Hey guys, Tactical Diesel Dad. Do a quick update on the Allison transmission conversion. Super hot today, so I found some uh, shade in a parking lot uh, to do a quick video. Uh, so I started getting, um, my transmission would go into limp mode and it would just go into fourth gear and stay there. Uh, it started after I had been, it had been sitting for a little bit um, and I came out, started out my truck and it was in fourth gear and so when obviously when it starts in fourth gear it's going super slow you give it gas and like it barely even moves slower than an 18 wheeler uh, and then another time it went into sixth gear um, and then it, the uh, torque converter wouldn't lock you can see when it locks and when it doesn't lock and uh, so you know, it was able to limp it home uh, happened several times I was able to call ATS had it had it checked out and it turned out it was the uh, the speed control sensor. So this this uh, piece, you can see, uh, I guess it gets hot and the plastic got super brittle. I think it chipped just taking the plug out. Um, I'm, I'm not the one that did it, but took it over PowerFlow Diesel. They're the ones that installed it. And this little sensor right here um, is what the problem was. Thankfully it threw a code. So they replaced this, it, it comes, sorry I didn't get a picture of the of the uh, speed sensor before we installed it, but uh, it'll have now the newer version has a wire, uh, has a little pigtail with the connection connection here. So this is this little piece is no longer on there; it's extended out. So there's some flexibility, and then uh, the sensor itself right there is actually coated in uh, a rough material, almost looks like bed liner. So it's completely black. Um, and then the, the nut is actually purple, ATS's color. So that's what, what uh, went wrong with it. Uh, super quick fix, took less than an hour for the mechanic to, to fix it and put, install the new one. Truck runs and shit just fine now. So uh, thanks for watching guys. Uh, I am going to do a video on uh, the manual shifting. Um, so when you, when you switch over to the Allison, you've got to uh, take your steering column apart and put extend the groove that allows the your handle to your shifter to move up and down and go you'll be able to go past drive into manual mode so you can manually shift because right now I can't manually shift uh, so anyway I'll do a video on that sometime soon when I get some time other than that this is the only problem I've had with the Allison transmission the speed sensor went out easy fix and uh, I'm sure I could have done it myself but I didn't know what was going on, so I paid PowerFlow Diesel to do it. But thanks, guys, for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the content. Stay safe.